Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so you've got the Lovers card over here and uh, this is talking about a choice coming in for you uh, soon. So there's some kind of big decision that you have to make. You've gone through some kind of crisis over there. There's the Destruction card, which is like the Tower card. So some big uh, information that caused a lot of destruction. So there's something that had, was lost uh, um, you know, there was something that changed quite dramatically because of this information that has come to light. You could have even lost your job as well with this particular uh, card of destruction. Uh, and maybe this is why you're at a turning point in your life. And, you know, there's a lot of power um, that is going to be coming to you as well. So something happened, maybe it was a very powerful thing that happened, or this could be power coming back into your hand again. Now, in the past, you've got going forward uh, very quickly, uh, and, you know, there's a lot of victory that came in, of, uh, you know, for you in the past year or so. But something has happened uh, that's caused a crisis. Now, going into the future, you've got the card of sexual attraction, and it's sitting next to the lovers. Now, although this is the card about, uh, you know, making the choice, uh, a decision to be made, maybe this is also about maybe you meeting somebody as well on the work front. So this could be a relationship that is work-related coming in for you here. Yeah. You've got the full card, so it looks like there's brand new beginnings that are starting for you as well. So this could be starting a new job, or this could be starting a new, uh, you know, it could even be starting a new relationship at work, but this could be starting a new cycle in your life with the full card. So something brand new coming in for you here after going through that tower experience or that tower moment. So those are the energies that are coming in for you during those two weeks. Okay, so I'm just going to be drawing the um, main read from the uh, Sorceress Tarot. I have put this deck in the description box, so please have a look. So you've got the Magician card over here, and this is showing that you are trying to manifest something brand new. Now, this is a card ruled by Mercury, so, uh, you know, you could be really busy, multitasking, doing a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of things, uh, trying to time manage as well. Uh, whatever you've learnt, it's you're applying all your skills to whatever you're doing at this particular moment. And this has made you quite busy. Um, you know, you could be doing a lot of travelling, a lot of communication as well with this particular card. So you're feeling very trapped financially. You've got the five of pentacles over here and you're feeling maybe inadequate financially as well because you see this woman's practically naked. So, you know, whatever you are earning just barely covers all your bills, really. And, you know, your hands and feet are tied. So it looks like, uh, you know, you can't really make big moves because you are you have uh, don't have enough finances to actually cover it. Now, you've got the three of rods over here. So this is about, uh, you know, starting brand new projects and working in a team. Uh, and, uh, you know, a lot of communication going on, a lot of collaboration. So you might be working with people on the international front. You might be doing a lot of travel as well with your work, uh, but you are doing a lot of collaboration and you're all you're working in a team uh, as far as your work goes. So whatever you're doing, uh, you know, it, it involves it's, it's growing. You've got this woman, this tree almost looks like it's growing out of her head. So you are, you know, putting your ideas in with other people in order to make that particular project uh, work. And there's that a lot of birds there. So there's a lot of communication going on, maybe Internet or, you know, emails and that sort of thing going on. So uh, you've got this night of uh, um, rods over here. So you, you've been doing a lot of traveling as far as your work goes. Maybe you started a new job in a different country and there's been a lot of traveling as well. Your job could involve a lot of international travel as well. And that's been going on in the last year. Now you've got the Queen of Swords over here. So you're a very determined person. Uh, you're in control and in charge over there. Uh, you don't take any nonsense from people over here. Um, and, you know, whatever you say goes. So you are in a position of authority, uh, uh, definitely very determined to succeed, very ambitious to reach the top as well. So uh, what's on your mind? <clears throat> you've got the King of Rods over here. 
So it looks like you want to, you're thinking about uh, taking on a new job or you're thinking about, you're making plans for the future. There's two rods over here. So there are two projects or two jobs that you are considering. Uh, this might also, these jobs might involve you know, you traveling quite a bit because they're the rods cards anyway. So they do involve, uh, you know, not being stuck in a particular position. So you're trying to make a decision about uh, taking on a new job or you're looking into new jobs as well and making plans for the future. Maybe the ones, the jobs that you've been doing in the past have been very burdensome. You can see he's got a lot of rods behind him. So you've been, uh, whatever you've been working on, there was a lot of problems behind you. And this is probably why you want to move away from this particular situation. Now, going into the future, you've got the Two of Pentacles. So there is a decision you have to make. There's a choice that you are trying to make with this Two of Pentacles uh, about which job is going to provide better financial remuneration so you are at some kind of uh you know uh turning point in your life you're at some kind of crossroads over here you're trying to make plans for the future you don't want to have that many responsibilities in this job that you you want to take and now you're looking at the money and deciding whether or not you know uh it's going to be adequate or whether it's going to be fulfilling your needs as well this is also about juggling finances so you could be you know trying very very hard to juggle finances because you also have that five of pentacles which is a card about inadequacy or not having enough finances uh, to sort your bills out and you're worried about the money as well so Oh, and another thing, you know, the two of uh, pentacles is also about doing financial assessments. So you might be looking at your finances at the moment. So you've got the um, um, knight of um, swords over here. And this is about movement. Uh, and this is about uh, maybe some news coming in. This is your card. Uh, you know, this is the card that pertains to Libra anyway. So maybe you're thinking of actually leaving this particular situation and moving away. So this particular new job that you want to do, um, you know, might involve you traveling away from it and starting off some, something uh, new somewhere else. This could also be some important information coming in. And this could also be you dealing with some kind of legal situation, uh, you know, and having to stand up for yourself, defend yourself in this particular position. Uh, but it looks like, you know, you, you're you going to be moving. This is like overseas travel, or overland travel. So there might be some commuting involved with your particular job. There might be a lot of travel uh, within within your job. And maybe this is what you uh, you want to take on right now. So you might be getting some kind of promotion or you might be actually even moving on from this particular job. Now, the people around you are not very, very nice. There's a, a lot of toxicity going on. You might be being controlled or manipulated by people around you. There might be a lot of backstabbing, gossiping, uh, you know, deception going on around you. And this is upsetting you as well. You can see there's a lot of snakes. They're getting to your head, really. Uh, so, you know, they, they're having an effect on you. And you're feeling a bit uh, disempowered by whatever they're saying. Maybe they're very, very controlling. And this is also the reason why you want to leave because of not having adequate money, but also uh, because they're causing a, a lot of problems. Somebody's stirring up a lot of problems. They might be, you know, stirring up problems so that they're, they're um, you know, causing legal issues or they're causing, uh, you know, uh, people around you to have problems, um, you know, official decisions to be made against you because of all the... Um, the nastiness that is going on around you. So you are trying to manifest over here. You've got that eight of rods over here. So you want big changes to come and you are putting a lot of effort and concentration in trying to manifest things. And you started off with a mad magician over here. So trying to manifest change in your life. You're trying to, uh, maybe you're looking for new jobs. You are actively seeking or oh, you're actively doing something in order for you to get yourself a new job, in order for you to move forward. And there are options that you are considering at this particular moment. Uh, so, you know, you are not sitting on your laurels. You are definitely moving and doing things very, very, um, you know, proactively. And you've got the devil card over here. So this is about being manipulated and being controlled, uh, you know, by... Uh, the situation you are in or by the people that you're working with. So, uh, you know, you are feeling um, as though somebody is a bit overwhelming and they're trying to manipulate you to do things you don't want to do. You are watching your back because you can see this man's with the seven of rods, somebody stirring up issues. You're having to defend yourself. You're working to deadlines, so you're working pretty hard and you're working by yourself. You're putting your head down and doing your work. Uh, but, you know, people are not being very supportive of you. And, of course, they are... You know, people around you are stirring up a lot of problems as well with those snakes all around you. So you're dealing with a, a very toxic situation. 
uh, and you know this is probably why you're actively seeking to move on now you've got that ten of rods so you are carrying a lot of responsibilities and burdens over here and it looks like you are making up your mind and you are going to move on with that ten of rods so there's a lot of responsibilities and burdens and you want to end that particular cycle maybe you were given a lot of projects uh, and you're taking responsibility maybe there's a lot of learning as well involved within this because there's a lot of owls over here uh, and uh, you know maybe also that um, you know you've decided because she's looking to the future so you are making uh, decisions of taking whatever you've learned and moving on so you are going to end the cycle because you're not really happy at all uh, you know you're having to um, defend everything that you do uh, and you know people are controlling what you do and you know you are having you're inadequate as far as finances goes so it looks like you're going to cut your losses and move forward uh, and you're waiting for that information to come or you're waiting for that uh, offer to come in at this particular moment. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the fairy tarot. So you've got the four of autumn over here, which says manage your resources wisely, achieve a balance in how you spend and save, help out those who are less fortunate. So you are having a lot of um, financial problems at the moment and you're having to watch all the pennies right now. So you're keeping a close eye or you need to keep a close eye on your money and uh, you know watch how you spend or how you save. So eliminate, try and eliminate all those uh, bills or all those expenses that are unnecessary. You need to do a financial assessment. And this is why that Two of Pentacles has come in. It's about doing financial assessment and deciding. You know, you can see this cup is empty over here. So, you know, you, you just have to decide where all the expenses are going out and try and, uh, you know, curb your spending as well. You've got the Seven of Winter over here, which says there's a better choice, not seeing things clearly and running away from the truth. So, you know, there is a decision to make, um, you know, you have to look for alternatives on how to deal with this particular situation and face the truth. If, you know, if you're, um, you know, overspending, you need to curb that spending, you need to go and attack the problem directly rather than, you know, dancing around it, in other words. And you've got the magician over here. Now, your path is open here. You can do anything. Take charge of your life. You can manifest what you need to be a success. So the pathway is open over here. It looks like, you know, you're going to be uh, able to, uh, you know, get get things moving. You started off with the magician over here. So, you know, you are going to be pretty busy. You are going to be able to manifest something new. But you're going to have to look for an alternative. So, uh, you know, think outside the box. You're going to have to consider something different, um, maybe to get you to where you're going. But it looks like, you know, your path is open, uh, so you will be able to achieve goals. You will be able to get out of the situation, uh, but you have to maybe even ask for some advice as well uh, in order for you to be able to manifest. Uh, and you have to be positive. You have to remain positive. Think of an alternative on how you can actually, uh, you know, uh, remedy the situation. If it means taking on a new job, then that is what you're going to have to do. Um, and it looks like, you know, you've got that... Um, Ten of rods over here. You are taking on too many responsibilities as well. It is working on your, uh, you know, it is stressing you out as well. So you're going to have to either uh, come up with a different kind of solution, maybe ask for some advice on how to find an alternative to actually be able to get that money in, uh, you know, maybe even without uh, changing jobs or even looking for a promotion within that particular job that you're doing. Or, you know, taking on maybe some, a, a little bit extra doing uh, something different within that uh, field that you're working in in order to rake in the finances. So you need to watch your money, uh, watch your spending, but also look for some kind of alternative uh, and maybe ask for some advice from somebody on how you can actually move forward. So I hope this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and leave me some comments if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.